What's up guys? We're working on some tilt panels today or precast concrete forms. So what you see here are different wall panels. So these wall panels, we'll pour them in place here on top of the concrete slab we've already poured. And what will happen is they'll pick this wall panel up once it's poured and it'll set up with the crane and it'll set in place right there on the outside on our footers that are poured along over there. So what we've done here is you can see the color of this concrete here, the two different colors. There's concrete here on the inside that where our tilt panel panels are going to be has a wax coating over it. And that's going to be our bond breaker. So the new concrete we pour for these tilt panels doesn't bond to the old concrete. And we've went along all our salt cuts for our floor and filled them in with drywall compound. So as we pour this, the salt cuts don't show up in our wall panel because as this thing goes to set in place, the bottom of this wall here, the bottom of the slab, will be the outside of the wall. So also with that said, all these little pieces of chamfer here will create an architectural effect on the outside of that wall. It'll be a kind of a neat little design. So you can see, like this will be a window here, you know, and in that panel there, that'll be a window. And then you can see what we're using here for to form this up. All these little blocks, it's a nifty little little system. And we use uh, an adhesive compound and just glue those to the slab after we chalk out all our lines. And then we screw through those into the form itself. And then when we're done, we just come along with the scraper and we hit that and pop it off and scrape off the glue off the slab. So. That's the process. You can see here the rod busters, they're getting all the rebar tied in our slabs. Or our tilt panels. You guys are killing it. So obviously, all these walls or tilt panels are full of rebar. Double mat. At any re-entry corner, it's got angle bar, two angle bar there to prevent future cracks. And you can see these little green pockets here. That's going to be our lifting spots for the crane, our lifting lugs. And I'll show you as we get further down how those attach in. So, tilt panels for days. Again, all these have that wax bond breaker between the concrete slab and what will build it be our panel wall, wall, excuse me. So, more panels, more panels, all rebar, lots of rebar. Some with different block outs, like this will be a window. That down, down there will be a door. So as this gets lifted into place, that'll be your door down there. And it'll be at, you know, floor level. So here you can start to see, so like these plates here, and these plates here so that plate will be turned over and it'll be embedded in the concrete as such and then our angle iron for the steel roof and such or our i-beams will be welded to that and that will be embedded right in the concrete wall you can see here our lifting our lifting lugs 
uh, they're tied in. They got that piece of uh, cross rebar there. And that way, inside that lug, inside that pocket, there's a lug that goes through it. And that's what the crane will clamp to. And like in this one, there's, there's eight of those. Four on each side. And that, that'll allow that, uh, that crane to attach to it and it'll pivot. It'll be able to pivot in place as it gets set into place on the on the footer. So you can see how that is. And then again down here you can see the door, how the door gets put into place. before a window up there and then tilt panels for days and then down there we have something that's already poured let's head down there and take a look okay so here's some that are already poured and they pour these just like a normal slab we pour them out and bring the riders in power trials and we just we finish it all and then we go along and each one of these little pockets, the little green pockets, they have these little nubs that kind of stick up out of the slab so you know exactly where to find them. And then you can see right inside there, it's got a little spot to clamp to for the crane. So we just come out and knock those out and it gives us our lifting point. And then here's those metal plates I showed you. And that's where we will as this wall goes into place, that'll be at the top. And it's where different beams and roof mounting system and such will go for the building. So, and then when we pour this, we just pour it as one continuous slab for the most part. We just finish, so you can see right here, there's a two by eight in there. We just finish right over the top of that and just carry on. And then as we start to pull these apart, It'll just pull apart just fine. There'll be nothing there. And the top of them will have a, a chamfer anyway. So you can kind of see all the different slabs here. So. And again, like this one here, we poured it as one continuous slab. But it's a, you know a bunch of different actual tilt panels or wall panels you can see the form there window so again as this comes up footer over here they'll lift it up with the crane and we'll set it just like that so what you see will be the interior of the wall pockets and then like this will be a door right here obviously and windows and such so that's our tilt panels stay tuned for the lifting process